folks, John with a &J Outdoors, and I've got a hankering for some fish. So I went and got me some flounder, and I'm gonna try a new recipe with it. Uh, I've seen variations of this, uh, other people cook it. I didn't find an exact recipe to follow, uh, so I'm kind of winging it, but it looks like and sounds like it's gonna be delicious. So let's get in there and cook it. First thing we're gonna do is actually cook the flounder. And I'm going to cook it in a fry pan. Flounder and white flaky fish. You don't need to do a lot to it. It's already uh, good the way it is. Um, but we're going to throw a little bit of spice rub on there. You'll see that in a minute. And then we're going to cook it in a combination of olive oil and butter. And um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Texana brand olive oils. But they're a company here in Texas. Been around for like 150 years. And they do their own olive oil. And so they re reached out to me a few weeks ago and said, hey, you'd like to try some of our olive oil? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'd like to try some of your olive oil. The funny thing is, just in the last two months, probably me and Audrey gotten into trying some of these infused olive oils where they have uh, additional flavors to them and really like them. And so they sent me a sample uh, box of olive oils and uh, I'll put a link to their website down below so you can order some if you want. And I've got some of the regular EVOO that I'm gonna use, but I'm also gonna add to it some of that bad boy. Zesty lemon infused. So that, I figure zesty lemon infused is going to be a good one uh, with fish. So we're about to find out. All right, so I got my two flounder fillets here. They look really good, don't they? So I'm going to put just a little bit of spice. Again, I say you didn't need, you don't need a lot on these. They're very good cut just like they are. We're going to put a little Chupacabra special blend. You know I like my Chupacabra, right? So let's get just a little. Goes a long way. Yeah, you didn't know. I got a karaoke channel too if you guys want to check that out. It's called uh, Angie Outdoors Awesome Karaoke Channel. Yeah, that's it. If you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you too. <laughs> All right, so a little bit on both sides. A little bit goes a long way. Now we're going to get the oil hot, oil and butter hot, and get ready to throw these bad boys in the pan. All right, there's some butter. All right, I'm not using the little mini flavored lemon uh, olive oil for the whole amount of oil I'm going to use, just because it's so small of a container, I'm afraid. I'll use it all up in one shot, and I won't have no more. I'm going to add it now. All right. Get that pan heated up. Let's get this fish down. It looks hot. Yeah, that sounds good, don't it? I'll tell you what. That lemon infused olive oil, I can smell it. It smells like lemon, so that's going to be a neat addition to this recipe. So it's a thin, pretty thin piece of uh, fillet, so we're going to cook it about two to three minutes on each side. Smelling good in here. All right, we're going to flip these guys in just a minute. Do me a favor, if you're still watching this awesome filet is cooking this pan, while you're watching it, go down below the video there and you see a subscribe button. Do me a favor and hit that bad boy. Not yet. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. Beside it is a little notification bell. If you click that bad boy, it'll let you know each time I upload a new video. If you won't want to miss none of this stuff, will you? And also, Hit that thumbs up. Let's do this video thumbs up. Those, that's the type of stuff that helps the video um, get seen, right? Because the algorithm in YouTube li likes to see that interaction. You got a comment below you'd like to add? More than happy. I love when people comment. There we go. So we're not looking to blacken this, right? Just looking to cook it through. Oh, come on. You know some better uh, 
tall. See, look at that. It's already coming apart. Nice. You know a better way of doing this, a double tongue things or something that works with fish well? Hit me up in the description down below and let me know. If you want to send me one, there's a known address down there. I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, so this fish is going to cook for a couple more minutes. And then we're going to come back and do our cream sauce. I said cream sauce, folks. Yeah, we're doing a cream sauce. That is next. All right, let's start this sauce. Get the pan heated back up. So you see we left, we're using the same pan the fish was in. And I'm gonna throw some onion in there, all right? Now this is just sweet white onion. You can use whatever kind of onion you like to use. You wanna sweat those down, get them a little soft, you know what I mean? Once they start getting sweated down and soft, then we'll go ahead and Add the garlic. I just want to heat the garlic up. It doesn't need to be cooked. Love using this stuff. Squeeze bottle garlic. Been using this up for a long time. And it is delicious. I'm not going to say that I snuck a taste of that uh, fish already. But if I had, I would be telling you right now, man, that fish is good. <laughs> that fish is good. Alright, go on and go. Go onions, go. Who can do the fancy? It's been a while. Ooh, look at that. You see that? Ooh. I never do that when Audrey's home. She'll get mad at me. She thinks I'm going to make a mess. And I have made a mess, so she's probably right. All right. Starting to get a little translucent. Let's throw down some garlic. No measurements. That's, I don't know. It's just me eating. That's like a quarter of an onion. That's probably equal to... A couple of cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Alright, so if you're following, there's already some of that lemon uh, olive oil in here. Lemon infused. There's butter. Onions down, garlic's down. Now, ooh, you heard that, didn't you? Little white wine. Put enough in there to fill up the bottom like that. We're going to let it cook until it kind of cooks down a little bit. All right. So we'll cut that down. When that gets done, then we add the magical ingredients that make it a cream sauce. Again, no measurements. I'm eyeballing this, but anybody could eyeball this one. Reduce down, vino. I'm not a wine drinker, so I stole one of Audrey's bottles. So this is what we're this is what we're cooking with today. I do know because I've been told since I was a youngin by folks that do a lot of cooking is don't cook with cooking wine. Cook with a wine you would drink. So for me, it's cook with a wine my wife would drink. Because again. I don't think I should be cooking with Boone's Farm, and that's about the only wine I would probably drink. All right, let's get back to this. So it's reduced down pretty good. Looks and smells awesome. And again, this is a simple recipe. You start adding whatever you want to it. So here we go. We're going to go with four tablespoons of butter. Oh, by the way, it's a buttercream recipe. <laughs> In case you haven't picked up on that fact yet. There goes four tablespoons of butter. And then next, we want pretty much equal parts butter and heavy cream. So I'm guesstimating four tablespoons of heavy cream. Now, we're going to cook that until it thickens up. We do have one last thing to add to it. One last thing that has to be in that. That is some black pepper. So we added all that liquid so it kind of cooled my uh, stove down a little bit, or the pan. So it'll take it a minute. But we're just going to get it to back up to where it's at a little bit of a boil. We'll cut it down to simmer. And then we'll just cook it until it's the consistency we like. <laughs> Alright folks, so there you have it. Got my flounder, uh, 
Got it on a bed of rice. It's rice and broccoli and pasta all together. And then to top that bad boy off, some of that buttercream sauce right over the top of it. A little more. I think, of course, I've already tasted this, the cream sauce. It's awesome. You got to try it. I think for me, I probably, when I do it again, will take more of the olive oil out of the pan before I do the cream sauce because the olive oil really doesn't blend with it well. And so aesthetically, it's not awesome. But flavor-wise, it is awesome. I guess there's nothing left to do but try this. I just want to get some fish and cream sauce together. Oh, man. Not easy to do. Oh, perfect piece. Look at that. so good that's so good um one of the things kind of it shouldn't be surprising but i use a sweet onion, a sweet white onion and so when you cook that onion down like that it really does add sweetness to the flavor so it's sweetened that sauce up a little bit um so if you don't want a sweetness to it i think it's good that way but if you don't want it as sweet maybe use a, a red onion or a regular yellow onion something like that Hmm. And it is Elway approved. He's had him some. Don't let him fool you. Looking all like he ain't getting none. He had he had him some. So, all right, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. Try it yourself. It's delicious. I'm going to do more of these when I get a chance to. Um, and we got some boat uh, repair stuff I'm doing right now. That'll come out in a little while. And then some more fishing for you. So, stick around. Again, hit the subscribe button. Ring that bell down there for notifications and give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate all you watching these videos. It helps this channel grow and helps me do what I love to be doing. All right, folks. Peace out.